we will start by doing an overview of the autoflight system. The flight management and guidance system, FMGS, is a vast system that expands and incorporates many other systems underneath it. The flight management and guidance system as a backbone uses two flight management and guidance computers referred to as FMGCs. For interface, we use two or a third possible installation can be done for the multi-purpose display and control unit, MCDU. Minimum will be two, there will be one on the left side for the captain and one on the right side for the first officer. But a third one can be installed on the back side of the pedestal and this is usually found on aircraft that use, are used for specifically for training or long haul flying where you have multiple crew of a lead crew. Furthermore, the flight management and guidance system includes the FCU, the flight control unit. The FCU is found on the glare shield in the cockpit right in front of the pilot. It also incorporates two fax flight optimization computers. And if you remember from flight control systems, these are part of the flight control system and the seven computers that makes up the flight control system and the fly-by-wire system as a whole. We will here be talking about how the facts incorporate the yaw dampening, turn coordination into the auto flight system. The general philosophy of the flight management and guidance system is that it is to provide predictions on flight time, mileage, speed, profiles, altitudes, etc. This system is designed to reduce the overall cockpit workload, improve efficiency and safety by eliminating many of the otherwise routine options that flight crew have been performing for decades. Automating things that we normally do, such as flight planning, monitoring everything, turning at waypoints, changing altitudes, obeying constraints, all of this takes away the focus and time from the flight crew. By automating these uh, tasks, we're able to give the crew a better situation awareness and as a whole, increase the overall safety. This is the backbone of the philosophies from Airbus. So it goes in line with the fly-by-wire system and the lights out philosophy, etc., to increase safety and efficiency for the aircraft. The flight management and guidance system operates by the pilots inserting a pre-planned route during the pre-flight stage into the system. And this includes inserting information via the MCDU to the flight management and guidance computer, including things like SID, takeoff runway parameters, in-route segment with waypoints, stars, arrivals, approach, missed approach procedures, alternate airports, alternate routes, and all constraints and company profiles may also be built in. By building all this at the pre-flight stage, we're able to predict many of the parameters, timing, fuel consumption, etc., for the entire flight. The system then uses the information inserted by the crew during the pre pre-flight stage to define a vertical and a speed profile for the aircraft, which can then give optimum guidance as well as predictions to ATC to meet ATC requirements and performance criteria. When the flight management and guidance system is operating, it's always operating in one of two ways. It's either in managed mode or it's in selected mode. When in managed mode, it is the flight management and guidance computer that does all the heavy lifting. It does all the flying, if you will. This is the long-term guidance that we're looking for, and it's what we will be using 90% of the time we are flying. This is what people outside the aviation community refers to as pilots don't do any work, you just push buttons. May as it be, we are pushing a lot of buttons in the beginning, but that is to set everything up to ensure that we are safe. 
along the way. We are still monitoring and we are still the back plate that ensures safety should anything go wrong. Selected guidance is a way to introduce and use the auto flight system, but in a semi manual way. Here, the flight crew will be telling the auto flight system what to do using the flight control unit, the FCU. We will be talking a lot more about the managed and selected mode coming up.